Hashtag is devious licks. It is a social media challenge and it has gone viral. The problem here, it's criminal and schools are ready to prosecute. New specials Debbie Worthen looking into this for us tonight. And Debbie, what is this about? Well, Mike, the term devious look technically means to sneakily steal something. Well, in this case, thousands of kids have posted TikTok videos of themselves vandalizing or stealing school property all across the country, including here in Utah. Well, TikTok today deleted those posts, but for one Utah district, the damage is already done. A social media challenge that even has TikTok taking action. In a tweet today, TikTok said, we expect our community to create responsibly online and in real life. We're removing contact and redirecting hashtags and search results to our community guidelines to discourage such behavior. Please be kind to your schools and teachers. Thousands of videos with millions of views of crimes being committed in schools, many in the act. We've heard of urinal plumbing being damaged and rerouted to spray on people who flushed the urinals. In the Canyon School District. We even had heat sensors at one of our schools damaged to the point where our alarm systems wouldn't turn off. Jeff Haney says the district is fed up. This is serious and it frankly won't be tolerated in the Canyons District. Haney says every high school is reporting damage. Dr. Brian McGill, the principal at Alta High School, sent a letter to parents today saying in part, some of these crimes have caused felony amounts of damage, which administrators don't plan on taking lightly. You could get um, suspended, you could get, get expelled, and then we will be cooperating with local law enforcement to prosecute to the fullest extent of the law. Well, in that letter sent to parents today, they did say that some students have been caught. Now, Haney says that students can anonymously report damage. And he says, while well, online followers may think your actions are cool, in real life, they have real consequences that could cause real implications for your life later on. Mike? Yeah, it's too bad. No excuse for any of that. Debbie, thank you.